says what you want. Thursday. I think they picked that day on purpose. They knew that it would have... It's, it's in the cards. It's astrology. I think they had the tarot cards read and they knew that it would end on a throbbing Thursday. Why do you think that? It just it happens. I just noticed right there. So I don't know what day it is anyway. I had to look at this little sheet that they've given me for the last 12 years or so. It says what day of the week it is and what the date is. Yes. Th throbbing Thursday. Yeah. Throbbing Thursday afternoon to you. It's 10 and a half minutes after 5 o'clock. We'll go through the motions of the whole thing. It's WHFS in Bethesda at 102.3. And I'm Weasel, along with Bob. That was a nice uh, nice story there. I like that. Do you like that? Thing? Yeah. yeah one of my favorites. And I want to say thanks to John Dryden. I heard that. That was, uh, that, that warned my, can I say this on the, can I say cockles on the radio? I think you can. Where's Dave? David, can we say cockles on the radio? I think we, I think we can. That, that warned my, just. Actually, you want me to pull the tape out and I'll cut it out. I, I can, I can cut that, that's it That's okay. When we bootleg all these tapes. Right. Right. I think you can say, that has to do with your heart, doesn't it? Cockles. <laughs> I thought it had to do with shells, but you know what I'm pulling cockles from the shell. Yeah, I right. get it, but that, that that was I really I really like that. That was, that was really nice. It really was. It you ought to be selling that. I, I think it was longer than normal. I, I bet John could be selling those things for uh, five bucks a piece. Copies of that. What's, what's that? The daily feed. The daily feed. That was it. Was real hunt. It was, it was well, anyway, let's let's get on to the uh, the business of the day here. I heard you tell a joke, and uh, it was lousy, and, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, speaking of lousy jokes, I had a flashback. I was eating an orange. I had an orange cut in quarters, and I was eating this orange uh, in my apartment. And I heard you tell this joke, and I started flashing on the on the early days. You know, the guy who gave me my start here, Murray the K. Yeah, yeah. May you rest in peace, Murray. But you know, Murray used to do these shows at the uh, at, you know at the uh, with the Brooklyn Fox, the Brooklyn Paramount, the New York Paramount. And there was this joke that Murray used to tell all the time, and uh, every time I see my friend Steve Leeds over at MCA Records, we, we kind of rehash this joke, which was bad, and it's about drive-ins. No. And it, it's funny, because we've been talking about drive-ins for the last couple of weeks now. ABC News Nightline is going to be doing a story on drive-ins just because of us, and because of a story in the Washington Post that hit something else. <laughs> but anyway, this Murray would wear the straw hat and go on stage, you know, he'd work the crowd, he'd have the, the Shirelles and the Ronettes and Cream and Tom Jones, he'd have uh, 32 acts, and they'd each come on and they'd do their one hit. And Murray, of course, had to do, just like Alan Freed did back in the old days, Murray would have to do the uh, between songs, patter, and keep the crowd from throwing things. And Murray would come out in his straw hat and he'd do his little jungle chant, Wa-be, ooh, wa-be, ooh, kuwa za wa And the crowd would all, you know, speaking of Misa Luba, Murray, And that stopped them from Murray, throwing things? Then they go, you know, they, they yeah. chant, wa-be, and the crowd would go, yeah, wa-be, hey. He used to do Mesa Luba also. He used to play it on 1010 Wins in New York. But getting back to the story about Murray, right? He, one, one of the jokes that he would say when he came out, before the Ronettes went off, before they came on, or before the Shirelles were about to go off and come on, or whatever, or before Cream would come on and do a strange brew or something like that, um, Murray would tell this joke about a drive-in movie. And he'd come on stage and he'd straw hat and he'd say, Well, the other night I took my girl to drive-in. And I said to my girl, Do you believe in the hereafter? Hereafter? What do you mean, what do you mean by the hereafter? Well, if you're not hereafter, what I'm hereafter, then you're going to be after I'm gone. Okay, that was just about it. What do you think, Weez? Uh, well, Murray, Murray would get a tremendous... Uh, you know, they'd <laughs> scream and they'd yell, eh! Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. And Murray would say, direct from England, here's scream! <laughs> and then they'd come out and they'd, they would do... Uh, Bomp, 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 off. And something like that. It was back in about 1964, 65 or so. But uh, it's on a record, too. It's on a, one, of, one of those Murray the K Golden Gassers records. And Murray telling that joke? Murray telling that joke. You're yeah, which, which probably goes back to Vaudeville. If you're not here after what I'm here after, you're going to be after I'm gone. And I think you're going to be here after I'm gone. It's, I, I think, yeah. It's going to be silent. Now, the boss, this is funny. This is somebody sent me a gift here. We've been getting a lot of presents today. It's <laughs> really nice. The boss, Jake opened this up. No kidding. <laughs> 
<laughs> I wonder. I don't think he went as far as to see what it was, but it was it was addressed to me. And I told you last week we were going to talk about ravioli, right? I recall. And we never got around to ravioli, but this is this is all all wound up and all wrapped up here in boxes and little little things here and pretty box, pretty boxes and ribbons. And you know we had Pac-Man cereal. We gave it a D. Um, there's a certain kind of ravioli in the market, which I saw, and I cut the ad out of the paper, and apparently somebody knew what I was talking about, because, uh, here, you're going to check this out. You mean out. you didn't send me to the store for ravioli? No, 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 no. You, you were so nice to buy the, uh, I'm, I still have the box, I'm, I had it for last night for dinner. I had dinner? Some look, look, this, this is, here you go, bud. still alive? New Dimensions in Pasta. <laughs> this, this, is, <laughs> this is, this is called New Dimensions in Pasta, Franco-American. Now, they, they make... Ravioli or spaghetti, or pasta they call it here, in the shape of UFOs. And it says here, outer space pasta shapes in a rich tomato sauce. And it has little spaceships? It's and got a, little, a, somebody, well, somebody put a little cool. What are the here. pasta shapes now? Well, here they are, right there. Well, a, we hold them up to the camera. There's a spaceship? <laughs> yes. Oh, look, look they're, look, look, it, they're outlined on the back. Alien? The alien traveling through green space? Thing, do you like to eat little green things for dinner? I mean, look at that. It's disgusting. Well, it tells what they're all about here. Galactic Interceptor. Yeah, now, that's the protector of space. It can blast a meteor so that it can't do any damage, or it can challenge an enemy vessel sighted in the galaxy. Sea Cruiser. Now, let, me ask, let me ask you something, Bob. Now, you have a little daughter, right? Yes. How old is your daughter? Two and a half. Okay. Now, you're a parent. I don't know this because, you know, I've been a long time since I... You don't I, live in the suburbs either. Since right? I was two. That's right. Oh, I live in the, the close-in suburbs, you might say. Right. Now, do you have? Do you really have to give your kids things shaped like UFOs or Pac-Man in order to get them to eat? No, not my, well, not why, my why, daughter. Why do they do this? I don't understand. I, do you have to. Your kids will eat. Well, they won't eat ravioli, or they won't eat spaghetti, but they will eat uh, spaghetti in the shape of UFOs, or they won't eat uh, tricks or kicks or whatever. But they they're from Hagerstown, right? Kicks. O- only only <laughs> only if they don't uh, see it on TV. If they see it on TV, you're sunk. <laughs> you're sunk. <laughs> you're sunk. If they see it on TV. The solution is If you put this in water, I think it's sunk. it's sunk. It's nothing like that. But um, well, here it is. It's a little, little UFO. It's got tomatoes and water, enriched macaroni product, enriched with niacin, ferrous sulfate, thiamine, mononitrate. That stuff's get, get down to the end where they put the real garbage. Cheddar cheese. <laughs> dehydrated onions. Dehydrated garlic, egg whites, flavoring. Oleo, what was I need to even announce that? Oleo for it. Oleo for it. For resin? Oleo resin. Oleo like resin. It. Oleo resin. I'll learn how to read yet. Uh, paprika and spice. Paprika and spice. I thought paprika was a spice. Well, that's what it says here. Uh-huh. Well, I think, man, on, let's man. get to the calories. Man. <laughs> this is the important thing. This is this nutritional information. 190. 190 in a seven and a half ounce serving. And 800, look at this, 885 milligrams of sodium. Watch out if you have high blood pressure. Yeah, yeah. But you get star colonies and star cruisers and man in the moon. I, I like, this is the part I like. I like the directions. Empty into saucepan. Empty into saucepan and then stir occasionally until hot. Open yeah. can. Mm-hmm. Turn can upside down. If any remains, insert fork into can and pry. That doesn't say that. It's a microwave. Microwave safe. Use microwave safe dish. It makes two seven and a half pound servings. Promptly refrigerate any unused portion. That'll be the message. That'll be our farewell message, okay? What, promptly refrigerate promptly, any unused portion? If we, if we leave you with, with any parting words here after uh, how many years of the WHFS, we're going to leave you with this, the following thought, and that is promptly refrigerate any unused portion. I think that's our public service message. Sleep with the light and you got it beat, okay? That's right. That's what the only warned me not to eat this stuff or something. But I, I haven't tried it yet, so I shouldn't make fun of a product that I haven't tried yet. Uh, Mom always you said, "You want to open it up and try it." No, no, you no. got to you got to put it in, you got to heat it up first. But isn't that something? No, you don't. Don't you eat cold hamburgers? Sometimes when I leave them around too long, but I, I usually when I eat canned stuff, I usually heat it up first. Oh yeah. Kind of botulism and stuff like that. I like cold hamburgers. But there you go. With uh, with peanut butter on. Cheddar cheese. Hey, we can go upstairs and cook it because you want I, me to cook it and be, bring it down at nine the, o'clock tonight. You before the, the, before the, the night's through. Okay, yeah. I think that uh, that says it all for it, or at least for now, right? <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Can, can I guess you could say we sort of set a mouthful. They got balloons also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. we did have balloons. Balloons? Mm-hmm. Everything else. Okay, Weasel. It's amazing. It's incredible. Oh, he's, where's that guy? No, I'm, you know, I haven't heard one of those all day today. I'll tell you, you know, um, I love Howard Applebaum. No matter what anybody says, I got to say that before I leave. Howard is a, I, I can't talk like that. I've been trying for years and, uh. You know? <laughs> well, maybe I can arrange a meeting with the two of you. And oh, we, we, we've met. He'd, he'd never talk on the radio. All, all those times, I'd say, Howard, come here and do your thing. And he'd say, no. Can't do it without the echo. Could be. It's like 930. Yeah, can't do that without the I echo. I'm going to do that before we leave. Right? 930. Give me a real tape. 
That's a, that's a, good, that's a, good, that's a good idea. Give me a real scrap tape, and before we go, we'll, oh, okay. we'll do one of those, okay? okay? Well, this is it. Thanks, Bob. I've, I've really, Thank you, I've really Wheeler. enjoyed all this uh, educational stuff that we've done over the uh, the last few years. Yes, I... And I hope we get to do it again. Someday soon. We here at WHFS, we're very uh, adamant in our public service commitment, and I think that we've been very informational and educational over the last couple of years, especially during this little uh, break at 5 o'clock. We knew it came on right after Sesame Street, so we tried to be... Uh, you could always tell when you were being public service, we'd say this message brought to you by... Right, we try to do our best. We'll thank Bill Riddle later. Yeah. I mean, you know, in all of my life, when I'm, a, when I'm an old man, when I'm 70, I'm always going to remember this message brought to you by... That's right. <laughs> and I think he's coming with us, by the way. So. Oh, is that right? Uh, yeah. Well, and hold Bill Riddle keep down. Intact, yes. But we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Okay? Well, look at these telephones. They haven't stopped ringing all day. I think you can answer some phones for a while. Yeah, I'll try to ring. It's going to be very rough. The phones are going crazy here. So what I thought we'd do is that uh, we'll try to get to it. I think Bob will take some. And I'll probably be around after 9. I think we're going to be around until the end here and maybe a little bit uh, longer also. So uh, if you keep trying, eventually we'll get to your phones. And if you can't get me now while I'm on the air, I'll, I promise I will stick around after 9 and... Uh, and talk to you, okay? Is that fair? I'm sure it's understandably hard. I think that's that's it's that. being fair to everybody out yeah. there, and we'll, we'll get to you eventually if you if you just keep trying, okay? Sure, do appreciate. So it. in the meantime, we'll wrap it up for the last time. High atop of the Triangle Towers building in downtown Bethesda, Maryland. Well, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Pop, popped your cue, eh? Yeah. Yep. Yep. How many guys did it take me to do this? <laughs> well, well, it only took you a couple of seconds, actually. I think. Took me a couple of seconds.